Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today I am going to be making something out, to, so making some bits and pieces out of the shrink plastic that we did yesterday Now I will link the video um, underneath So we were jelly printing on to um, the shrink plastic and I just love them These are what we're going to be doing today um, I've just drawn them on here just to get them ready because it takes a little while um, but I'm just loving how this shrink plastic came out and I love it it's the paint has dried it doesn't chip off it doesn't scrape off um, and I think it looks really really good so I'm hoping um, that you have given it a go or you will give it a go now the first thing I made was this funny looking it was supposed to be a feather um, but it didn't quite turn out to be a feather I didn't quite um, cut the little side bits properly so that was my first attempt this was my second attempt which was a little bit better so you can sort of um, see the little feathers on there a little bit better I just needed to sort of cut into this bit um, more and then I just did a bit of the Posca pen um, as the little feathery bits inside on top so I'm just loving that then I did like a little key ring which I think is lovely so it just says enjoy life so this is really really simple just cut out a piece rounded the corners popped a little hole in it um, stuck one of a little sticker from Tapology on there um, and I just think it looks really really lovely and I've popped um, UV resin over the top which I think is great and a little bit of mica powder on the back so lovely these two I am just absolutely loving um, so they're sort of like wings um, which are grey I've got some glitter in there um, some little gems on there but I just think they are beautiful perfect little key rings you can make them into earrings um, key chains little dingly danglies um, this little one that I did from BB Crafts um, I would probably take this off or make another one and hang that on there with a the little wing so it's like a little fairy wing isn't it so I think that would look beautiful I do like my um, resin and bits and pieces at the moment but look at that it's beautiful and the colours are gorgeous so I think I used this one here that's the one I used but um, it looks just gorgeous I will do a close up at the end of the video as well and then that's just a little tag um, on there and then I've done a little um, uh, little flower a little flower dingly dangly with some little um, pearl dangles on there which looks really pretty as well so I'm going to attempt to do the feather first because that's quite simple well not really simple but be easier for, to show you how to do it um, I didn't quite make it long enough on here or the feather was just a little bit too big um, so I should have had it on here now this one I did punch a hole in it and um, it didn't go right so I did actually break it off and then I've just added a little resin um, jump ring to that which works really well um, so I could also always do that on there as well now not very well organized so I don't know where my scissors are here we go these will do so I've just drawn it out now I've got a couple of templates that I sort of sort of made like this um, to draw around now you can probably find a template on Google or something like that so free to print templates have a look for um, and you should be able to find something that you can trace around um, so I'm just going to cut these out like this it's really simple to cut really really easy to cut so just cut it round just like this so we've got some I've just put um, just some one of my um, this is just a uniball fine uniball waterproof pen to draw on here so let's just cut this out like this so there's all sorts of things I was when I was doing these feathers and thinking of ideas there's lots and lots of things that you can do you could do sort of like little fish and things like that couldn't you you could even do seeing it's coming up to Halloween you could sort of do a Halloweeny little key rings and stuff um, I just think they're gorgeous so let's 
try and cut these little black lines off. So we're just cutting the feather out. Now I do know that there are templates that you can have on Google. So just go and can you see? Probably see it better on here. Move these bits out of the way. Let's go around this way. Cut these little bits. Now you want to do the feathery bits quite long so they stick out more. Let's pull that out. Josh, I mean, they may not be long enough. Else they sort of like, you don't really see them like you saw my first attempt of the feather. Didn't quite get to see them very well. So if you just take little slots out like that, feathery look to it. In a little bit more, so it. Well, if you, you don't have to. If you wanted some shrink plastic, if you had shrink plastic and you didn't want to color them, you could trace over the templates. It'll be a lot, lot easier um, if you're not good at drawing and things like that. If you had a bit of clear, you could just draw around it. So let's just get rid of these bits. So that's our basic feather. Should I pop it onto here? Probably see it a little bit better. Now I'm going to take my um, Posca pen, the white one, and then I just want to draw like a little line through the middle like this. And then give it some feathery bits like this. And then on this side. Just some little feathery bits that go around like that. Just add a little bit more to it. There we go. Because you can adjust to see them. Where's my feather? I'm not sure whether you can just sort of see them in there. Um, which looks good. Okay, and now it is time to shrink it up. So I'm going to pop it like that. Let's move these little bits and pieces out of the way. I'm going to get my little awl and I've got my heat gun, so I shall do this. While it's still a little bit um, flexible, I just want to pull these little feathery bits out like that. And you can just sort of move it about a bit. Can you see? It's probably better to see it on the white anyway. Now I'm going to heat it up just a little bit more. Just so I can make it go flat like that. So look at that, I think that looks lovely. You can just see the little white bits on there as well, um, which they will come out a little bit more when you um, put resin on it. So that's that, so I'm gonna pop that on there. So I'm gonna pop some resin on this one. Now these ones I did put glitter on, which I just think they look so pretty, but I haven't put any glitter or anything on this one, but you can. So I'm going to take my resin, take my little, um, toothpick I'm gonna pop some resin over the top like that pop the lid back on and then just put that over so I will attach the little um, jump ring um, when I've done this I'll do a nice layer of this over the top now again if you didn't have resin or anything I do believe you can use Mod Podge um, and that will give it the same sort of glazed look um, especially if you're going to paint if you put your paint over the top you don't want it to sort of come off but it is pretty good on there I think it's pretty stuck hard so I'm going to just 
pop that on there, make sure we don't have any bubbles like that. I think that's okay. I'm going to just pop a little, just a bit of heat on here, just make sure there's no bubbles on there. That will just pop the bubbles if there are any. So I'm going to pop that under my little um, LED light. Let's wipe this off, make sure we don't have anything on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, should we just do the big one? Now, I'm going to cut this one out. And we will do this one, and then I'll show you how you can pop some um, gems and some glitter on there as well. But I just think they're so, so pretty. You can make these into brooches. So many different ideas um, to do it. I did try and sort of make some beads, but it's really not easy um, because the, the string plastic gets so hot that you can't really um, manipulate it with your fingers. It's a bit dangerous. So let's just cut this out. I need to find something to do with the little scrap bits as well. So. So let's see what I can come up with. So there we go. Easy pieces to cut out. I might just go around the edge just a little bit more. Just with a little bit more ink. Just because I sort of cut a little bit of that off. Okay, so that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm going to make a hole in this one before I forget. Let's take a bigger one, there we go. Pop that on there. Put our little hole on there. Now we shall heat this one up, shrink this one down, oopsie daisy. Pop that down on top just to make it flat. Like that. Oops, pop it off. Don't want that piece on there, do we? And there we go. Look at that. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Love it. Bits and pieces on there. Look at that. Just looks lovely. So that's that one. This one is just a slightly different shape on that one, but it still looks really, really nice. So let's have a look at our feather. At that I think that just looks lovely so what I will do I will just pop a little um, jump ring on there just to show you how I do it now let's take one of these little ones don't want anything too big it doesn't say on there what size it is but what I'm going to do I'm going to take a little bit of this just pop it on just on there like that. Where's my tweezers gone? What did I do with those? Oh dear, I've lost them. There they are. Let's turn the light on. Take this little jump ring. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it over that and pop it under the light as I go. So you probably won't see this while I'm doing that. But if you hold it under the light, it's like gluing it together like that so if you can see that I've just stuck that onto there still a little wobbly but then what I'm going to do is just add another little block of resin on the top 
just needs a little bit not a lot like that can you see and then we're just going to pop that under there for a few minutes and then we are done let's just take that off we need this one so we shall add shall we add a little bit of glitter in that to this one let's take a little bit off this paper on here probably needed my other resin actually this one is running out so I'm going to add a little bit of this this is our taser glitter and it's called snow white so I'm just going to just tip just a little bit of it in there take a toothpick mix this up I think that's done now And then I'm just going to go over the top of this with the beautiful glitter. There we go. They are just so, so pretty. just sort of see the glitter coming through I think these really work well with the glitter um, but again if you're not a glittery person um, then obviously don't add any glitter to it but I just think they just sparkle lovely um, from the last videos that I did I can see that people used to have been sort of reminiscing on their little shrinky dinks that they used to get when they were younger um, in the UK we used to get them in cereal boxes when the days when it didn't matter if you had something floating around in your cereal um, which it wouldn't happen these days but it was so much fun you used to find some of these little things in your cereal floating around and then um, these little shrinky dinks so, and you used to put them in the oven you can obviously heat them up in your oven but now we have um, like heat tools and stuff um, it's not worth popping the oven on to do this really it's easier to do it with your heat tool now I think that is pretty much covered if I can see try and keep it sort of um, nice and level and go right as far to the edges as you can and sort of up here without going over the hole like that okay so I'm going to just see if we've got any a little bit here just like that just take your time doing it sometimes I do rush in my videos um, just to show you what's going on right, I'm just going to quickly heat this I don't mean heat it I mean just blast it because it gets the little bubbles out okay I'm going to pop that under there which will pop there up there for a few minutes now look this one's lovely I've got the little hook not hook little jump ring on there which I think looks lovely now you can put resin on the back which I have on these and I've added some mica powders into them um, which looks pretty too so there we go that was that one I'm going to leave that one as it is so now I have two lovely feathers and these are great just to hang can you imagine hanging that off your journals um, I think that would look lovely if you've got like a boho journal you can make different sort of like colours and sizes and I just think it would look lovely you could even make um, like a little dream catcher as well okay so shall we do this one do you think we will have time to do this one as well let's cut this out anyway and get ready so I need to think of some more things to make but I do love these wings gorgeous I suppose I could do some dragonfly wings couldn't I they would look nice cut this out but if you fancy doing this and you don't want to do anything like this just make up these little key rings and I think they would be lovely I need to get all little they've got little holes in you don't have to use them as key rings but I really need to get some little key rings because um, 
I like making key rings and I don't have anything to to make them into key rings. Well, I'm going to just take my white Posca pen again and just see if we can do a little bit of a almost like little sort of highlights on here like this. Not that you can see them too well um, in there but it just adds something else to your your little wings. Okay, I'm going to shrink this now. What I didn't do with this one, I didn't make a hole in it, did I? Silly Billy. I do have a little drill, which I will probably drill a hole in this one. Because um, I don't think I want a little jump ring, but that's come out lovely, hasn't it? So, oh, is that done? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that just look gorgeous? Oh, love it. Beautiful. Okay, so... I think I might need to just get my other resin quickly. Perfect, there we go. Nice new bottle. So what I'm going to do on this one as well, I'm going to add my little gems because I do like the little gems. Where's my little tool? Where's my little pen? There we go. Take this one off. I have got, still got such a mess on this table it's unbelievable right so i'm going to pop another layer of resin just a little bit take another toothpick in here spread that out again like this and then i'm just going to pop in a couple of the little gems in there Like that. And you can pop the gems in before on the other layer if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But I quite like a thickish layer of the resin because I think it sort of like finishes it off quite nicely. Saying that, I just need a little bit more. So I think it just makes it almost look like glass as well. It's just fabulous stuff bit smelly so don't don't forget make sure you've got your window open or you have a mask on because it does get very smelly and I've got my window open because it's we still got fabulous weather here it's lovely here in September it's not too hot we have gorgeous weather just lovely so there we go right to the edges let's pop that over there Let's get a couple of these, just a few little gems on here. Oops, those two seem to be stuck together. We don't want two. Little one there. Just love these little gems. Just put a couple on these. Just on each little sort of like section of wing. Oops, easy. You can actually still see the texture of the paint in there as well. Some of the bigger ones that we got in this little compartment. There we go. There we go, perfect. I think that looks lovely like that. Okay, so they are going to go on just... don't think... no, I'm not going to put any more resin on top of that. I'm just going to pop that under there again. Perfect. So look at that. That looks so lovely, doesn't it? I want to just show you a couple of these things again. So this is lovely. As you can see, I'm not sure whether you can actually see whether that's close enough. But I just think they are so, so pretty. 
um, and there you got you've got the um, green mica pouches in the back of there that's a gorgeous where's our other wing this one so this is the same look that's what it looks like without the resin on it so you can see these two are pretty different too aren't they because drawing them is not the same so each one obviously each one's going to come out a different pattern um, but also it's going to come out different shapes because of the drawing as well so I'm going to take this half out because I want to pop them both in there I'm going to pop some resin on here as well a little bit on here I'll just pop a little bit of glitter I think just on the edges of this one on the edge of the wings oops over to the side how are we doing for time okay yeah silly billy i forgot to put the hole in it never mind but if you didn't put the hole in it you could make it into like a little brooch couldn't you stick a little brooch thing on the back let's have a look that looks okay it doesn't even look like it's got any bubbles in it like that all the way down okay I'm going to take a little bit of glitter making a big mess here let's just take another piece of this just going to put a little bit of resin and a little bit of glitter I like this sort of like iridescent one this one says sort of says snow white but you want to get the sort of iridescent and it just sparkles really really pretty you just need that little shine to it and this one I'm just gonna just pop a little bit around the edge of the little wing bit here like that that looks pretty doesn't it is it going to come out there we go just a little bit of sparkle tiny bit there if that looks nice maybe just a little bit on that one there there. perfect right I'm going to pop that back under there like that clean up this mess now remember to get rid of it all and make sure you um, wash your hands or wear gloves if you think you're going to get covered in the glitter not the glitter the resin so that's lovely so these I'm going to have to do some more with these but if you can I wish you could feel it because it feels like it's almost part of the um, shrink plastic and do remember when you do this do it on the matte side not the shiny side and it feels like it's really is part of it um, which is great and this one's stamped on I tried to pick it off and it, you can't sort of like scrape it off at all you probably could make marks in it with this if you want I wonder if you could sort of draw on it yeah, I suppose you could draw into it let's have a look yes you could see can you see that you can see through there on this bit so you could probably scratch marks into it as well all sorts of things you could do with it so let's have a look let's see if the bigger one is done now look at that that is gorgeous isn't it so I won't put anything on the back at the moment I will do that later on but you can see the stamping on there so I did put some um, mica powders in that one but I think I'll just put a plain one over that because then you can see the stamping on here which looks really nice and then all I'm going to do is take a jump ring a little one and a bigger one that 
stitch it through like that pop that one on I think if I was going to use these as key rings I would pop a little bit of resin just on the um, join of your jump rings just so it doesn't pull off because um, just so you don't lose it so if you popped a tiny bit of resin there it would just almost like glue it together and on that one um, I think that's what I would probably do for making a key ring, key ring but I just think that I hope you can see that because that looks absolutely gorgeous on there so loving it so now I have lots of beautiful little butterfly wings and feathers so I'm going to have to definitely make some more um, let me know if you want me to show you a tutorial on these ones because I think these hanging off your journals on the front covers or making little dingly danglies would be beautiful as well how are we getting along with this one yeah that's perfect so again I didn't put a little hole in it so we could pop a little brooch on there couldn't we make that into a little brooch you can make it into oh, I wonder if you can make it into a bracelet probably could actually even drill a hole either end and wrap some cord around you can make it like a little bracelet couldn't you lots of ideas so there we go guys that is a few ideas for you I hope you enjoyed it I hope you I hope that give you a little bit of inspiration um, let's pop them on the white so you can actually see them a little bit better pop that down like that so again so there we are well thank you so much for joining me that was my first attempt at a feather um, thank you so much for joining me please stay safe please give this a go um, and have a lovely rest of the day all right guys take care bye bye mm -hmm.